Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us this Saturday afternoon. Technically, it is afternoon if you're in the central to eastern side of the USA. Welcome to the 1545 channel where we'll be showcasing off our Banjo-Kazooie 100% four-way race today. How is everybody doing? Thank you so much for being here. We've got, we're really excited to showcase this off for you today. Uh, it's going to be a really close race, actually. We've got uh, four racers today. We've got Stivity Bobo, obviously world record, obviously, uh, you know, a little projected winner, if you will. Uh, we've got Dickus Khan and Haganator, you know, the two boys that are chasing that uh, world record down right behind him. And then we've got Thunderful as well joining the mix, who is not too far behind Hag and Dick at this point. So it is going to be a very, uh, it's going to be a really, really good race. So type one, right? Um, yeah, thanks again for being here. We are just, uh, we're getting all the racers set up with FFM right now. We're making sure that everybody's ready to go. Everybody's got their streams synced up and timers ready. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, we also have, uh, this will also be, I want to um, say this out loud as well, is that this is also the very first Banjo-Kazooie event that is going to have all female commentary, uh, which is pretty exciting in of itself. So we've got Nyloom and we've got uh, one-up girl Zaltis uh, on the mic today. So they will be coming on uh, as soon as the race starts and they will be leading you guys through the entirety of the four-way race. So give it up for both of them as well. Make sure that you drop uh, follows on all of those guys. So it should be a lot of fun today. So thanks everybody for coming. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just uh, waiting to get started and then we will be uh, on air shortly. So how's everybody doing out there today? Anybody, anybody have any predictions? Obviously, Stiv is uh, always projected to be the winner, having that nice little edge over the other runners. But, you know, this is Banjo-Kazooie 100% and this is a race setting. So anything can happen. Anything can happen for sure. So we'll see what happens today. All four of these runners have been pretty active with runs recently as well. Hag and Dick have been uh, doing their 100% runs since coming back from uh, their Easter trip. Thunderful has been practicing his mind out, has been grinding, just got his 203 recently. Stiv, obviously, just playing the game as usual, got his sub two uh, just about a week and a half ago. It was pretty exciting. So yeah, we'll see uh, what happens. All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the uh, into the waiting call to see where we're at, and then hopefully we'll be uh, live for you in just a moment. So hang tight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be starting momentarily. All right, do we have everybody ready? Dick, you're ready? I'm ready. Thunder, I'm you're ready. ready? I'm yeah. ready. 
And you bet. Siv, you're good. Yep. Yep. All righty, folks. Thank you again for joining us for the beginning of the 1545 Banjo Kazooie 100 percent race here on the 1545. Uh, we've got all four runners ready, and the commentators are ready as well, and we're ready to go. So, wait, 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 wait. Wait. oh, what what stream are you are you restreaming this on? On the fifteen forty five. It's just the fifteen forty five. Okay. Yeah, that's what. Oh is. shit! Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. All right. So if you guys want to see commentary, go to the fifteen forty five. All right. So if you guys want to see commentary, go to indeed. The all right. Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. Yep. I think so. Yeah. The race is All right. Right. The BK race will begin in five, four, three, two, one, go. No one boost. Good luck, everybody. No one boost, even cha cha. All right, so we're just starting off our banjo race right now. Your commentators will be me, one up girl Valtus, and we have Nylum on the other side. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically just now they're kinda all just starting. Pretty you're gonna see some pretty synced up gameplay here all in Fire Mountain. Unless some of them missed the back flip, which uh Haganator and Thunderbolt missed one back flip, so Ziv and Dick will be pretty synced up and then Hag and Thunderbolt will be roughly synced up. I can't see anything, all my streams are buffering. <laughs> oh really? Oh no. <laughs> you might need to do a refresh if you need to, but it's okay. It's basic Spiral Mountain stuff right now. Stib's probably like 0. 0.2 seconds ahead of Dick. They're like pretty- no, I don't even think so actually. 0. 0.1 of anything. They're pretty dang synced up. And I think Where... Thunderful was ahead of Hag, but Hag <laughs> still took him. Where are they right now for you? The log jiggy so they have rolled oh, okay. the pack yeah. Now they're heading over to the tree and the waterfall. Now it looks like Stiv got a lead over Dick out over there now. Now I think Stiv's about like 0.3 seconds ahead of Dick. Actually Hag catching up too. Mm -hmm. Hag and Dick are pretty close. Yeah. Thunderful is not too far behind now. Are you good now on your on your? Yeah, uh, I'm good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think any of them will miss bottle skip, but you never know. Mm-hmm. Anything happens in a race setting. Okay, Stiv nails it. Dick nails it. Hag nails it. Thunderful nails it. So that's good. All the runners nail the skip. Oh, you're quite a bit ahead of me. Still. Oh, right. <clears throat> You're a little bit behind. Uh oh. I'm gonna refresh. Okay. So they're just getting now the first jiggy, and they're gonna go open Mumbo's Mountain right now. So nothing too big still happening right now. But once they get into Mumbo's Mountain, that's pretty much when things will most likely start changing for the uh, for the most part. Mm hmm. Mumbo's Mountain being, you know, one of their <laughs> easier levels, so not too many mistakes to be made in that level, but it can happen. I think Conga is a big one. Yeah, Conga <clears throat> and possibly Termite Tower. Yeah. Probably the only two major ones. I mean, maybe Juju too, once we get it there, but that won't really be too big of a deal. Yeah. And if any of you don't really know what this game is, it's Banjo Kazooie. So it's a it's a big platforming collectathon. So you basically go into every level, and they're all doing 100%, I believe. So yeah, they're gonna be doing going to the level, getting all the music notes, all 100, all 10 jigsaw pieces, and pretty much progressing through the game. Stiv makes it out there pretty quick. Um, Dick having ooh. Yeah, Hag actually got time <laughs> on Dick there. And I think Thunderful even caught up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I just heard this re very recently before we went live is that I heard Thunderful PB twice in the last 24 hours. Oh, really? 
Yeah, Leslie told us. Told oh, does he have us. a 201 now? Uh, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like he does. So, oh, wow. Nice. He's been. Apparently, That's he's crazy. been popping off a little bit in PK. <clears throat> yeah, he's improved a lot That's over the past up. year. All these PBs are pretty synced up, Stiv being the only one who's about a minute or so ahead of everybody. As we'll most likely see during this race, as Stiv already has done Conga. Aside the, the eggs. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how much time Stiv saves on everyone, j just in Mumbos. Just better movement, quicker. He like knows the frame. <laughs> he like knows mm -hmm. his frame better than everybody else, and he's just like... The risk he takes with like certain things, as we'll see in the next the later levels. Oh, it wasn't Thunderful wasn't in the like the last twenty four hours, but it was like pretty recently, so Oh it's either way. Yeah, yeah, either way, he's still doing really well. Yeah. See, it looks like everybody, yeah, everybody did Conga pretty well. Ooh, Hag and Dick are synced up pretty well right now. They are almost perfectly in sync. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same stream. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Hag missed that orange. Oh, and he got hit. Oh, oh I did not see that. I thought Hag did that fine. Oh, I did not uh, see that. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch that either. Dang. I don't think I've ever really seen that happen before. Not Stiv's like... already going into Mumbo's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, Stiv's just, the lead continues. Just gonna grow and grow unless he makes a mistake. So I don't really think Thunderful's been messing up anything, but yeah, he's still trailing a little bit behind. Mm hmm. Thunderful and Dick are pretty close now. Maybe like a 10 second difference. <clears throat> yeah. Dick's exiting Mumbo's. Ha oh, no, no. Alright, Dick's doing Juju. Hag's exiting Mumbo's. Thunderful just exited Mumbo. So he, they're all, they're all so roughly very close to each other. So they all did Juju pretty well too. I didn't see any mistakes there. Stiff heading to his final jigsaw piece right now. Oh yeah, the the final dance skip is something else that people can mess up. That's true. Too. Pretty easily. Yeah. See, Stiff nails it. Dick is right behind him. Just a few seconds here. I gotta imagine it's a pretty good time for Stiv. 721 Mumbos, or 722-ish. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like they all nailed the skip. So that's good. Not really many mistakes in Mumbos. Hag had the Conga incident. And yeah. I think Dick had a tiny uh, mishap in tickers. But nothing too big, so I didn't really notice anything. And they all got the termite skip jiggy in the lair. I don't really now we're property. heading to TTC, but we're yeah. opening up plankers before we go into TTC. And something to note is that if you guys haven't seen this game in a while, you did probably notice that they all sk are skipping talking to Brentilda. That is due to a new skip figured out called the Ninpok skip. Um, basically what happens is it's the same thing as Furnace Fun skip with the skull question, but you do it on our earlier skull question. And since we do it on our earlier skull question, we don't have to do any Gruntilda questions. So that means we do not have to talk to Gruntilda to get those answers at all. And that saves about, I think it's like a minute and a half in Furnace Fun, and then an additional 30 seconds from not talking to Brentilda. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice skip. See, Thunderful missed the, uh, I saw him. Yeah, he had a that. little. <laughs> yeah, fluttered it too early. Very tiny mistakes. 
Right, Stiv is starting TTC out. Dick is entering the level as well. I guess Thunderful is uh, falling behind, it. probably because of that the yeah. jump. Very tiny little mistake. He's on his way though. Hagnus entered. Festival. Yeah. Hagnus entered, Thunderful just entered. Oh, Hag didn't do his usual thing. Did he stop doing that? The yeah, flat? I guess he stopped doing the flat because it was inconsistent. I was gonna say, Hag's usually the one who, always, who I always see do that. Oh no, Thunderful oh, yeah. missed the Jinjo. Thunderful just missed it. Okay, quick recovery though. And right now, Stiv learning flight. Gotta get those feathers. We'll see how uh, Blubber is to everybody who gets mm -hmm. the good Blubber RNG. Who doesn't? <laughs> Oh, I think Stiv got it pretty good, actually. Oh, uh, I don't know. He didn't get away, actually. Yeah. No, Blubber pushed him. Blubber off. moved him, yeah. <laughs> it's probably the worst when you're so close and Blubber's just pushing you away as you're throwing mm -hmm. on a uh, piece of gold. <laughs> Poor Stiv. Oh, it looks like Dick didn't get it either. Blubber's way over there. Hag, same situation with Hag. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll be nice to Thunderful so Thunderful can catch up. Maybe that's his plan. Uh, I don't oh. know. No, he's kind of way Doesn't over look there. like it. Yeah. Blubber's not nice to anybody <laughs> tonight. Oh. <laughs> For today, I should say. All right. The here we go. The, fl the first line section could be kind of hard for some people, but these runners should have it down right now. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I anyone's gonna mess this up. I did not think Stiv was gonna. I was gonna point that out. The that something Stiv does differently than everybody, but he took a safe route this time. You know how Stiv always jumps off the top of the tower and takes fall damage and flutters right away? Oh yeah. Yeah, he didn't do that. He just flapped down. Okay. Like everybody else does. I did not expect that he wants to be safe in this race. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. He's not really going for a PB attempt. Looks like everybody nailed the first flying section. Stiv already moving on to the second one. And do a beak bomb here, go low, come over here, grab the jiggy, and flap back out. Okay, he nails that part pretty well. Let's see, Dick gonna do his jiggy. Okay, he gets that pretty fine. Hag coming up next. Ooh, I think he went kind of low. No, he's fine. Dick Here gets the dance skip. Hag's gonna have to flap above it, it looks like, yeah. Not quite as graceful as Stiv or Dick. Because he went a little too, I guess he was a little too low. But, mm -hmm. still gets the skip. Still no got it. <clears throat> Wonderful. Coming up on them now. Stiv's about to do nipper skip. That's a bad place to die in a race. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually where people will take the most damage in a race if, like, it gets messed up for them. Mm -hmm. They'll just take, like, three hits and not get a nipper. <laughs> oh, Thunderful. Take the fall damage, but then it flop out of it. Or was oh. able to, I guess. <clears throat> just another tiny mistake. He's not really making big mistakes, just little tiny ones that are adding up. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone got nipper skip. That's good. With no problems. No problems at all. Let's see who is let's see, Dick going for the jump. Yeah, Dick about. I'd say <clears throat> tenish, almost ten seconds over Hag. Still so probably ten or more over Dick. Hag probably more ten or more over Thunderful. That's kind of cool. They're all just like. One's ten minutes, always, always ten minutes ahead of the other. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, the third flying section. Quite a bit of time can be lost here, if you don't get the three notes. 
um, yeah, on the first try. They've nailed it pretty well right that there. That was a really clean honeycomb. Nice, good stuff to sip. Vic seems to be fine right now too. Yeah, see, nails that pretty fine too. All right, Dick, uh, Hag coming up on it. Yep. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hag looked a little scarier, but oh, fine. oh, he oh, landed. I was afraid though. he was gonna crash. Uh oh. Oh, who landed? Hag. On oh, Hag okay. I go. just saw that. That's not too big of a deal, I guess. Yeah, he that, that is yeah. missing like two dance skips. <clears throat> Wonderful looks like he's handling this pretty well so far too. Gonna gain some time over Hag here. Uh huh. If he doesn't mess someone up. Yeah, oh, if no. he doesn't land. All right, looking good so far. And the last possible thing that would happen in this level is, I don't remember this guy's name, but the the last crab. Some mute something snippet. I forget his name. Yeah, mutant snippet. No, those I, are the ones I'm playing through. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I forget his name. But um, he can sometimes move so that when you grab the jiggy at the end, you won't die immediately, and you'll have to do the, the <clears throat> long dance skip. Mm -hmm. and... Or you can die on him without getting the jiggy. <laughs> That's true too. That's happened to me. Stiv is fine on that, though. So... I remember in one of my runs, I got the jiggy. No, 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 I hit him, I, I took the damage, then I jumped immediately, and I, I hit him, like, I got took damage again right away, and I was like, ah, I died. Yeah, and I didn't that's never fun. <laughs> okay, Dick also fine right there. Let's see. Hag also fine. Wonderful still finishing up spelling the name, though. Yeah, I'd say Stiv's pretty much roughly a minute over Thunderful. Oh wow, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, Thunderful misses it. Yeah, Thunderful, the only one in last place missed the skip. He he needed a break, come on. <laughs> it's okay, still plenty of time in this race for him to catch up. Yeah, that was a 15.45 TTC, nice one. <laughs> Stiv. Yeah, he's but very appropriate. He's doing pretty good in this race so far. You know, they're all entering Clankers, and one thing people gotta know about Clankers Cavern is that it is a cycle based level, so they want to be doing this beginning section pretty much as fast as they can to catch the bubble that you will see them approach once they get mm -hmm. down to the bottom. Mistakes are really costly in this level because I think each missed cycle is something like I'm not sure exactly like 10 seconds Something like that. Yeah, and like sometimes you're just waiting for a cycle like you're at the place But you have to wait for like, mm -hmm. like your tooth to pop up or something like that Right <clears throat> Um dick looks like he messed up something. Yeah hag actually just took the lead over dick Oh did he? Yeah dick must have missed the jump at the beginning because he did he went the other way Oh. Yeah, you see, Hag's about a second or two over Dick now. Le the uh, second place tied, or changed. D Dick is still ahead of Hag for me. I don't know. He must be way ahead of me. They're both talking to Clinker for the first time right now. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yeah, it looks like Dick is a little ahead of Hag going down to Gloop. Remember, Hag is gonna get the cycle and I don't think Dick is. Oh, okay. Oh no, Hag also missed the cycle. See, Hag, it didn't even really look like Hag made a mistake, but he still missed the cycle. So like, you have to pretty much play pretty perfect to get that cycle. Which is what Stiv got though, like Stiv got the cycle. Right. Oh, invisible bubble. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, they both hit the key at like the same time. Oh, Thunderful missing the cycle too. His looked like hags too. It looked like he pretty much almost did everything right, but he made just not quite quick enough.
Yeah, it's kind of nice that Thunderfall is able to catch up a little bit more here because Hack was behind Dick, and if Dick slows down, then Thunderfall and Hack could just start catching up and be, you know, within the same range of each other. Yeah. Meanwhile, Stiv, <laughs> way out there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stiv's in Clanker now. I'm not sure what cycle he got. He got the fastest cycle for Gloop, I remember that. I saw the him Stiv get the cycle. <laughs> Stiv cycle, as we call it, because he's usually the one who gets it most of the time. So does that mean... Let's see, ha no, Dick has to wait, but Hag is fine. Yeah, Hag's ahead for sure now. He entered the mouth. Oh, he's like one second ahead, maybe, if anything. Mm -hmm. so, They're pretty yeah. much... Even yeah. at this point. Cause I forgot how like Dick cycles were still not a hundred percent right because of the beginning. But now that they're in clankers, their all their cycles should be fine now. Oh, Hag got ahead of Dick somehow. I missed that. Cause, well, I guess they were like even before. Remember at the beginning. At the beginning, where in Hag, when Dick messed up his uh, jump, all his cycles got thrown off. So when it looked like Hag and Dick were tied, or Dick was a little bit ahead, he oh, did have okay. five bosses in the, like coming up from cycles missing. Oh, okay. So like like Dick had to wait for the tooth to pop up, but Hag didn't. A little bit of sloppiness from Thunderful, getting the notes. Yeah, and Thunderbolt is doing the range right now. Give me one second, I'm gonna grab a drink. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. And I Hag and Dick are like perfectly synced. Yeah. <laughs> like perfectly. That jiggy dance. Ah, uh, no, Hag missing it, Dick not missing the pipe jump. Oh, wow. Yeah, Hag was way too low. Second place, uh, lead shift again. We just see Thunderfall. I, I don't think Thunderfall is making too many mistakes in this level, he's just kind of slow, like, yeah. no, trailing a little bit back there. Ooh, Dick went for the, uh, he tried to get the frame perfect jump in the air. Trying to gain a little more time over Hag. Oh, Thunderfall missing bolt jump. Oh, he missed it too, oh no. That could have been some time saved, he could have got over Hag at least. Oh, that's Hag's first gold feather. I I don't really see that text here that often. Yeah. It doesn't really matter though, since you're getting the refill. Yeah. When you learn the move. I was like, why is the gold feather talking now? I'm like, oh, <laughs> this now got a first one. Oh. <laughs> See, we got Dick learning gold feathers, Hag coming up on the room right now to learn it. Thunderful about to enter Clanker again. Oh, oh, oh no, Thunderful pecking way too early. Oh wow. Missing yeah, the that's, cycle. I mean, yeah, that's no good. Just getting the notes. Oh, thanks. Yeah, he's alright though. Again, not really like that didn't really he didn't really have to wait that long for the cycle, but so tiny, just all these tiny mistakes. Mm hmm <clears throat> I do wanna point out something. You nobody can probably see this, but Hun Hun Thunderful split background is really cool because it's like I think it's like it's changing color, if you've noticed. Oh, is it? Yeah, I swear. I didn't it's notice like, that. Like a, 
basically a dark sky with a moon in the air for anybody who doesn't, who, like, you guys can't see it, but, like, the background, I swear, was blue before we started the race, and now it's, like, purple the sky. I'm gonna huh. keep an eye on that. It looks really cool. It's been catching my attention. But, on, but as we go back to the game, uh, Stiv doing the, uh, the final swim to get the last Shiki and Honeycomb piece. Dick entering the Mutai Snippets area. Hag also not too far behind Dick. Those clean snippets from Hag. Stiv's finishing the level with a 25-21. Yeah, pretty good. I think that's a pretty good time for flankers. But see, I, I know like mumbo time and like TTC time. And then once we get to like the later levels, I don't really know what the time on the clock should be. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't see him make a mistake. He got the he got the stiff cycle, he got the pipe jump, so I didn't see anything wrong. Mm-hmm. It's hard to catch everything with four game feeds. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, because there's always just, like, there's always somewhere to look for something going on when there's four racers. Yeah. I think, uh, Thunderful didn't quite do the snippets. Uh, perfectly, but that's okay. It looks like the dick is about 45 seconds behind Stiv. Dang, so Stiv is, uh, the lead is growing. In TTC, Stiv was about 40 seconds ahead of last place. Now he's about 45 seconds ahead of second place. Wow. So, <laughs> Stiv fast. going to... Enter FP through FP early. Yeah. And do you want to explain this trick or should I? Um. I mean, basically, <laughs> <laughs> you, we go break the spider web, use the flight pad to clip out of bounds with a beak bomb. And then we fly towards the, the level opening. For FP, and that allows us to get in the level without having to use or to open it the regular way with the jigsaw pieces. And this saves time because you don't have to go all the way behind Bubble Gloop to open the level um, as yeah. you would normally, which is really out of the way. I was gonna say, Freeze Easy Peaks uh, level opener is just like probably the furthest, like in the darkest basement of the lair. <laughs> Yeah. It's so far away from everything. Okay, so Stiv is at the Twinklies right now. At the Twinklies, there's nothing really that they can do aside wait, and they like they, they make sure the enemies aren't loaded so they don't actually have to do the mini game. So Stiv's just gonna hang tight right here, probably get a drink or something like that. And as you see, Dick and Hag both going to this clip, this little ledge right here, you see them beat bombing, just getting out of bounds. And then, you know, they flap and they double do a double beak bomb to load it into the underside of the loading zone of the level. And, yeah, you'll see it one more time once Thunderful does it. And they have to do that trick twice in this run. Not to get to FP, but the second time they do it, they skip the 450 note door. So it is a kind of a hard trick, especially if you're new. And it's you do it twice in the run, so... It can be pretty scary. Yeah, it's a hard trick. I can like I can do it, but I'm not consistent with it at all. Yeah, I've had runs where I've done it before, but it's it's just hard. And there is a new time save found here at Twinkly's. Um, they used to stand on top of the open present box, and now they're standing um, below it. That saves a couple seconds. Is that why they do that? I never knew yeah. why. Yeah, Asmi I found that. Oh, I was like, why do some people not? Oh, Thunderfuls. 
going way over there. Uh, I think Thunderfall's okay. Oh yeah, yeah. he's in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, I, I started seeing people stand, like, not on top of the present. I'm like, oh, I guess they just want to stay into the side for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Did not know think... it actually saved time. Yeah. I think it's lag reduction. That would make sense. I guess on the Twinklies jumping out of the present because you're not really looking at them jump out. Those snowballs. Trying to hit Hag. <laughs> oh, so here's Yellow Star, by the way. Hag's doing it right now. They beat bomb and slide up, jump through the ring, slap again through the ring, then ground pound and go through the ring three times. I forgot I didn't really explain that. Nothing too much going on right now. They're just kind of like, you know, hitting yeah. off, getting the jiggy, going back into the tree and getting that jiggy. There aren't too many tricks or things you can really mess up that badly in this level. Yeah. <laughs> Besides maybe snowmen um, or the boggy too. races. <clears throat> yeah, boggy races is probably the, one of the hardest things. That and yellow star are probably the two hardest things in this level. Looks like Stiv is fine with these snowmen. Thunder gets the yellow star. That's good, okay. I was hoping he wouldn't mess up that. I'm glad I don't want him to lose more time. Wow, that was a nice entrance into Mumbo's from Stiv. <laughs> Oh, and I guess while we're on, on our first Mumbo transformation, we can explain that uh, some I don't know what the percentage is, but um, there is a chance he could turn you into a washing machine, which is not supposed to be in this game. So you pretty much just transform and he turns you back into the real thing. So you lose time if you transform into the washing machine. Or you get T-Rex, which is something that's also not in this game. That's also in Banjo-Tooie. Mumbo tells you, I think Mumbo with the text is like, Mumbo's like, Oh, you got a big secret. I'm gonna turn you to like a T-Rex, and he's like, ah, oh, actually, and he, like he'll transform you. Then you won't transform to anything. And he's like, actually, I'll save that for Banjo Tooie, or he's yeah. like, I'll save that for the next game. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I forget what the chances are for T-Rex, but I know washing machine is like one in forty or something. T-Rex is lower, so, right? I'm not sure. I think actually T-Rex is a lot rarer than washing machine. Yeah. Oh, 2.5 percent for Washi. Which mm -hmm. chat are you in? The fifteen forty five one. Okay, I should do that. Oh, one out of one hundred for T Rex. Wow. Okay, yeah, I figured T Rex was pretty low. Oh, one thousand. Yeah, I think I've only gotten T Rex a handful of times. But it has happened. Oh, for sure. Imagine the T-Rex in these levels. Probably couldn't do much. <laughs> I'd imagine the big T-Rex could do some stuff in these levels, but... Being a small T-Rex would be kind of funny. <laughs> uh -huh. So let's see, Stiv on the boggy race. Actually, um... It looks like it can Hag have Sync back up again. Yeah, Dick's just I a little bit ahead of Hag now. And as Dick starts his first boggy race, Div is finishing his. So, I guess I missed something. What happened to Dick? Because Dick, you know, last time I remember Hag missed pipe jump and Dick got a good lead on him. Mm -hmm. So something happened for Hag to catch back up to Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure. They all got yellow star. They did twinkle. Maybe it was the snowman? I, I oh, yeah. think that'd make a difference. Probably. Snowmen can definitely trip you up pretty easily. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the theme of this race, is the Dick and Hag shifting leads. Uh-huh. <laughs> Seems to be the lead so far. <laughs> or the, not the lead, the, the theme so far. Dick did mess up the snowman? Okay, that's good to know. I think 
maybe Thunderful was doing Yellow Star when that was happening, so we were looking at that. Yeah. But Thunderful starting his first Boggy race now too. They all did the Boggy race very well so far. Oh, Dick sliding in there. And yep, they're good. So now Stiff's gonna start his uh, ascend onto the top of the snowman here. I actually like this part of the level because you're just like climbing the scarf and it's just like really. I don't know the right words to describe this, but it's just like a nice feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're playing perfect if you do this right. It looks like so good. Yeah, the scarf is fun. Should be really no danger up here on top of the snowman, really. As we see Thunderful ending his boggy race, looks like he got it pretty good right now. Can he beat him? Oh, that looked a little close, but I think he got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fine. Cutting him a bit close, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like Hag is a few seconds over Dick now. <laughs> Ooh, Hag did a risky jump. Got a little bit more time over Dick. Nice igloo entrance by Stiv. Let's see, so the only thing Stiv has to do now is the last boggy race and then finish up FP. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, Hag and Dick pretty much the exact same position on top of the snowman right here. And we got Thunderful changing <laughs> back into Banjo. Sorry. <laughs> same position on top of the snowman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't realize how it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so I just made like a sliding in comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gotta gotta slip the innuendo in there sometimes, you know? Yeah. Keep it interesting. <laughs> Ooh, both pretty good igloo entrances. I I don't know who's was faster. They did it slightly different. <clears throat> They're like so synced up right now. Let's see, I think Stiv pretty much has his buggy race nailed down. Yeah, I I don't think Stiv like ever really fails buggy race. I actually think at SGDQ last year he did mess up the second buggy race. Oh really? Yeah, I think I think a few people did. I think Stiv messed it up and Hag messed it up. Oh dang. Interesting races in person. <laughs> buggy rubber bands really hard, so it can be scary. This is true. He goes very fast towards the end. If oh yeah, like, we, we didn't say this, but Kiki Wahey's out. Wahey! Wahey, Wahey! Everybody get the Waheys in the chat for the boggy races. I see some in the chat. Thank you, guys. Stiv looks like, yeah, Stiv looked like he had no trouble finishing this level. I wonder if he would be on PB pace or anything. He does not have a timer up right now. Or not a timer. He does not have a... Splits, yeah. He doesn't have his splits up right now. Everybody else does, though. He probably doesn't want to look at his splits. Yeah. Might be distracting or demotivating. Yeah. Maybe finishing with a 38-38. Seems very good so far. We have Thunderful, last person to race Boggy. Look, you see Thunderful split background, by the way? It's green. The background oh, yeah, it's green, green now, yeah. You right. see? It's 
I never see when it changes, but I can see like when I when it does change, I'm like, oh, there's the change. Oh, uh, Stiv is plus two point five seconds off his PB. Okay, I figured yes. he was pretty good. He was on pace. Like I figured he was like really close to his PB time. Didn't look like he made many mistakes at all. The only thing he actually did different that I saw uh, compared to his regular runs was that TTC thing where instead of taking the fall damage and fluttering, he just fluttered immediately. Mm -hmm. And that could have been it. That could have been the time loss. This final swim to the honeycomb it would be really bad to mess up, but I don't oh, think yeah, we're going to... Nobody messed that up. <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to mess that up. <laughs> Of swimming to open MMM. Yes, and this is the part of the run that I would say some people dislike, you know, because it we just kind of chilling out. Yeah. It takes up a lot of time to swim all the way over here to get to MMM, uh, MMM's open uh, level opener. Right. If anybody figures out MMM skip, I believe somebody's got a hundred dollar bounty on that, so anybody you know you guys are taskers out there any kind of glitch hunters out there and you want to mess around with this level entrance uh feel free to you might win some money yeah finding an rta viable mmm early would save a lot of time it's like one yep. of the one of the yeah. major things we want i think if uh you were to skip mmm early or if not if you were to skip opening the level it would save over a minute or so. I think I've I've heard one of them say it would save more than Nimpok skip. Oh wow. Which can make sense because you know swimming swimming. Yeah. <laughs> you're swimming all the way over, then you're swimming all the way back. And you have to do 450 skip. Mm -hmm. And it, if you didn't have to do 450, if you, if we got MMM early, you would not have to do 450 skip either. You would right. just run up to the level. So that's a big time save. Possibly we can get in the future. Okay, Thunderful nailed uh, 450 skip. Nobody messing up those tricks, thankfully. I'm glad all the runners got it. We're opening gobies up on the way to MMM as well. Yeah, since the gobies valley opener is right there, you take the quick pit stop and open that level. Right, default. Yes, and... exactly. We're opening the gate so we can come back as the pumpkin when we're done with MMM. And there's like a secret mumbo hut beyond that gate. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, the pumpkin <clears throat> can't, unfortunately can't do any attacks or damage anything, so you have to use Banjo Kazooie to open all these gates in the level. Um, that looked like a bit. Oh, of that was an interesting. <laughs> Flip up the Stiv right there. Cellar entrance, yeah. It's like the first mistake I think we've seen him make. <laughs> All right, we have the other three. The other three races are pretty much just going into the level and opening it while Stiv's in the level, so Stiv would probably be the one to be keeping your eyes on right now. At least until the other people get into the level. Dick and Hag still <laughs> pretty much synced up, both entering the level roughly within like two seconds of each other. Oh, Stiv falling from the roof. You don't see that very often. Uh oh. How did he fall? I'm not sure. And oh, he fell all the, the way off. Oh. The trick to get back on top. Quick recovery. 
Yeah, that's a good backup to have. Just to ground pound through the roof. Get back on. Uh, I don't think I've seen him do that in like a long time. So that's gonna have Dick and Hag gonna get some time on Stiv over that. Wonderful too. Mm hmm. Let's see. Oh, nice but he gets skip. Yeah. yeah, he gets an after yeah. skip that makes up for it, kind of. <clears throat> well, we're happy he got that. Oh, Dick, missing the note. How gonna pull ahead? Oh, wonderful. Trying wonderful to having a little trouble with the notes. Those are tricky notes. Yeah. The four hardest notes in the game. <laughs> I think wonderful. No, no, he's fine. He didn't gold feather into the cellar, though. He saved that feather. Let's see, is uh, Dick or Hag gonna do the, the egg strat, the door strat? I, I had a feeling Dick was gonna do it. He did oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, nice. what Dick, Dick did there was he shot an egg out of Kazooie and then did the uh... NASA skip, and doing all of that, I guess, teleports like almost <laughs> everything in the room to you or something. Hag missed the dance skip there. Oh, he missed Napper skip? Okay. I was gonna say, dang, I didn't know Napper or doing the door teleport saved that much time. Jeez. But no, yeah, Hag missing the dance skip, so Dick is actually gonna take the lead back over Hag. Ooh, Hag getting knocked around by these ghosts in the maze. Hmm, I don't know if Stiv wanted to enter Tumblr that way, but that's what happened. Oh no, Dick missing the first uh, pot. Mm hmm. Hag, game, game time over Dick now. Almost back to being synced up again. <laughs> yeah, Dick's nice. still a few seconds ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderfly yeah, it, going into Napper's room. It did look like the door broke as it teleported too. I, I never seen the door teleport. I've seen it always been there. Oh, I think it's because he shot. He. Uh, he shot the egg out, and the, since the door teleported, the, the egg was still active and hit the door, I guess, as it teleported. That's kind of uh, cool. Yeah, I've never seen it before. Alright, I didn't see how Stiv's tumblr went, but I think it went fine. Meanwhile, we got... Dick and Hag both doing Tumblr. Mm hmm. Everyone has pretty good health right now. Yeah, health is, uh. I would say kind of a big thing in this level. Yeah. Dib's doing some safe strats for that token. <laughs> Did he go and get that token over there? Yeah, he used a gold feather on the whip crack or whatever it's called, whiplash. Oh, in the in the water. Did he not yeah. get it when he did the jiggy skip? Or no? I guess not, I missed that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we got Stiv entering the church right here. Stiv at three health right now. Um, should be fine. Oh, Hag. Oh, neither Hag nor Dick gets the Jiggy Skip. So they're both gonna have the Gold Feather. Now that's a little interesting. Uh, you saw Dick and Hag both had the Gold Feather into the Whip Crack to get the Mumbo Token. Um, Dick stayed in the water to get the, to get the Honeycomb piece that came out, so he got extra health. Hag did not. Oh, okay. So I guess Dick just being a little bit safer than Hag right now. Mm-hmm. Probably a good idea in this level. Yeah, Hag, he will give the lead for second place back to Hag, though. Let's 
So we got Civ finishing Matan. We got Thunderful finishing Tumblr and Dick and Hager about to start Matan. Our runners are kind of scattered throughout the level right now. Stiv is getting the organ jiggy in flight, which is something I don't think everyone does. I'm not sure if Hag does that. Um, I think Dick does. I don't think Hag does. I'm not yeah. Sure. Oh, Thunderful got the skip. Nice. Oh, good. See, now Thunderful is, you know, catching up a little bit to Dick and Hag. That. That's always good. Okay, Stiv set up pretty good for the ending of this level right now. Oh no, I really thought Dick was gonna try to oh, wow. <laughs> play that safer. He might get hit again. Okay, no, he's fine. Oh, okay, no, he's fine. So Dick getting knocked off the organ right there by that enemy. Oh, Limbo. Dick. Yeah, uh -huh. Dick's gonna get the Jiggy in flight. I heard it like only saves about one second to get it in flight, but you know, every little bit helps. Oh no, Hag getting tripped up by the ghost, getting knocked off the chair. Oh, yikes. How do they always do this? Dick makes one mistake, Hag makes another, and then they get synced back up again. Oh, Dick made another right. one. <laughs> oh no, he didn't get by the ghost. Oh, and now he's oh gonna wait God. for the ghost. Yeah, he needs yeah. the HP. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Looks like they're all gonna go into the pumpkin section with two health. Yeah. Oh, and actually, I didn't even point this out. Uh, Dick and Hag making those mistakes in the church means Thunderful got a lot of time uh, save on them. Mm -hmm. You see Thunderful is about to take flight in church too. He's not that much further behind them now. Dick and Hag are actually the same person. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So far, no washing machines or T-Rexes. And we have four racers with a few more transformations left, so it could happen. You never know. No, it looks like Dick's gonna be fine on that too. Good job, Wonderful. Exiting the church. Not taking any damage, not getting hit up by any ghosts or anything. Yeah, that was smooth. <laughs> So Dick, Hag, and Siv are just pretty much finishing up this oh, level as the pumpkin. Dick missed that jump. That's a couple seconds. Oh. Not too big of a deal though. Yeah. Hag's about 15 seconds ahead of Dick now. Yeah, Hag just entering Lagos. Uh, Hag or Dick, not even in the window yet. Are you sure he's? Are you sure it's 15? Yeah, it might be 15 or so. Yeah, I timed the the loading zone. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Alright, now we got Thunderful uh, changing into the pumpkin. Let's see how he, how this goes for him. Yeah, it looks like he's fine too. Now Stiv is going to... He's gonna hit the switch to raise the water level, and then he's gonna reset. Um, and then that will take him back to the beginning of the lair, where he can collect the Clinker's Lair Jiggy, and then make his way to Gobi's. Exactly. I was debating whether we should try to troll, troll, quotation marks, chat, oh. <laughs> about, oh no, they reset, oh no, what happened? <laughs> 
Thanks. Div's saying in his own chat that he has to pee. Um, oh. You're in the middle of a, of a banjo run, so... That's kinda... <laughs> you got no room to pee. <laughs> the best chance he had probably was Twinkly's. But he's gonna have to hold it for the rest of this run. Oh, Thunderful taking the damage from the Chompa in the in the Lago. I guess he had too oh, much yeah. HP. As you see now, his, his split background is red. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, it's changing. <laughs> it is. A very slow change. So the next level, and I think this is maybe where a lot of time uh, differences yeah, things, will be happening. Things are definitely going to get interesting in this level. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Yeah, they're all about to enter Gobi's Valley. My most hated level in this entire game. I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like Gobi's. I don't know. I think it's fun. Even though it does kind of suck. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I just... I don't know. I feel like when I get to Gobi's, that's when everything stops working for me. Yeah. It's a mental thing with me right now, but... Not my favorite level. Well, it's definitely a run killer for me as well, but... <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna... They're all gonna enter the level with Gold Feather so they don't take damage, because... I think what all of them are doing, I don't know, but I think Thunderful's doing it too. They're all gonna do the fast version of the Gobi Clip. And if you haven't seen this game in a while, they used to do the Beak Barge, I think. I guess right, that's... yeah, the Beak Barge. And now yeah. we clip in with Talon Trot. Yeah. And there used to be a safer way to clip. There is a safer way to clip in with Talon Trot that people used to do, but then we figured out, somebody figured out that, oh, we could just use this Beak Choose instead here and do it. And something you gotta remember, the only way this clip works is you have to get hit, then jump immediately. You can't try to jump, like, a little bit after you get hit. You have to, as soon as you get hit, you have to, like, jump like at least a second after getting hit, or else mm -hmm. the clip is gonna just. Basically, you want to clip so you can't take damage again upon landing, because if you take right. damage again when you land, the cl you'll clip, but then get pushed back out because you took damage. Stiv missing the uh, the first attempt, but he got the clip on the second try. Only one HP though, so he's got to be careful. I think he's gonna do the strat right now to uh, get this HP back, right? Yeah, he will. Hmm, so let's see how this goes. Gobi Clip could be hurtful to any of these runners, so let's see how it goes for Haganator. Looks good so far. Stiv gets the first ring with some camera manipulation. Oh, that's a good ring. He got a uh, another oh, yeah. ring on. Is that swag ring? I forget. I, uh, I forget. All right. Uh, Hag in the same situation. Uh, situation is no. Stiv missed the first clip, but uh, did Stiv get this ring too? Oh my gosh, he did. He got like the perfect oh, nice. ring cycle. So now he yeah, got that's... three rings right off the bat. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Hag and Dick both get Gobi Clip. Yeah, Dick got it earlier than Hag and Stiv, so Dick gained time on both of them. Yeah, I know that's something that Hag kind of struggles with from time to time. I don't remember if, like, you would get this HP if you already have 2 HP here. I'm not 100% sure. How. From Grabba. Yeah, right here. Or whatever it is. <laughs> Not uh, Grabba, something. but... Oh yeah, Dick did get the energy. Dick's been playing very safe, though. Mm hmm So that would make sense. Oh, okay, thanks, Falcon. Slapper, yeah. <laughs> Slapper. One Slapper, one Scrabba. And the one who didn't make it, Dabba. <laughs> Dabba. <laughs> like one of the... Furnace fun question or answers. Oh, Dick having trouble with the first ring. Uh oh. Oh no, Dick missing this ring again. Oh, yikes. This camera angle is weird. You do the same thing as him. I didn't realize you and him did like the same thing. Alright, this is the camera angle I know. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like that one's the best angle. There you go. That's the one I'm used to. That's the way I was taught <clears> to do it, is to just do it with the camera like that. 
Right. So that's gonna get a hag. Yeah. Or lead over dick right there. Quite a bit of time loss. Dab of the daddy hands, right, Falcon? Looks like Stiv's not having too much of a problem with these, uh, feeding these sphinxes with the eggs. I don't really know what to call them, but I know they have a name. I just kind of forgot. Oh, wonderful. He left the note on the finished carpet for some reason. Ooh, Stiv. Having... Oh, Stiv. Okay, there we go. Wonderful miss missing something on the first carpet. He missed the, uh... Yeah, he left the note on the first carpet. Oh. Well, Thunderful gets the same ring uh, RNG as Stiff so far. Mm -hmm. So he will probably gain some time. Yeah, he did. The exact same RNG, actually. Nice. So he'll probably gain some time over Dick, I would imagine, since Dick had trouble on the first one. Oh, he has no problems with it. Very nice by Thunderful. I didn't see his Gobi clip either. I, I need to see how much... HP Thunderful has. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is true. This is like the halfway point of the race right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> um... So Stiv is heading towards Gobi, and it's important that when he breaks Gobi's rock, he stays in flight, um, so that he can do the water pyramid clip. Yeah. yeah. I He's in a weird position. Yeah, he didn't grab the jiggy. He could fly over it, I think, yeah. He was really high. But if he grabs it without landing, yeah, he's fine. Tiny bit of time lost. Now it's a very hard trick. He's gonna clip into this pyramid by beak farming. Let's see. Oop, right, he nice. it. There's just something about how you beak bomb in this game near like the ground or like ledges or something like that, and you can just go through them. Mm -hmm. So they use that to enter the water pyramid instead of doing the uh, puzzle. And that saves a bunch of time. So if any of these racer runners are to miss that, they uh, what is it like forty seconds I think or so time loss, something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Twenty to forty. I don't remember the exact. I know it hurts like a good amount. Let's see. We got a hag going to Gobi's Rock right now. Looks like he broke it the same way Stiv did, but he's a little bit lower to the ground, so I think Hag will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, Hag does that pretty fine. But can he get the clip? Let's find out. Alright, Hag is fine. Nice. Ooh, Stiv. Messing up the maze skip. Oh, oh, wow. oh, messing it up again. Oh my goodness, Stiv. It's not something you see a lot. Oh, a third time. From Stiv. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, he's good, he's good. Alright, Dick coming up on the clip right here. He's fine as well. I don't know if Thunderful does it. But his PB would tell me that he does do it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he does it. His PB's literally only 26 seconds behind Hag. So I, I can't imagine him not doing it. Mm-hmm. Alright, Hag is done with the Gobi Rings. The Ancient Ones. I believe their name is. The ancient Everybody's ones, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's fine for right now. Thunderful has not done the Pyramid Clip though yet, so... Oh, landing in the sand there. He'll be fine. It takes, a, it takes like at least a second to register, I think, once you're done with this, that you're in the sand. <laughs> so he didn't... Oh, yeah, Thunderful has a 203. He has a 203? Yeah, he was comparing oh, the 201 earlier, which is where the confusion came from. 
Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so maybe he doesn't do it then. Oh, uh, he's in the same position as Stiv, I think. I think he might land. Yeah, he's a little high. I think uh, he's he might fine. Have to... Yeah, he has to do it. He just needs to go back and... Yeah, fly over the jiggy. Well, let's see. He's got eight feathers. He has enough to do this. Let's see if he can get this clip. He's definitely in a different position, it looks like, than the others. Ah, but he gets nope. it! Nice. Very good. Stiv's heading over to do Grabba. Yeah, and I don't think any of them would really mess up Grabba right now. Yeah, but... I feel like that's rare for these runners. They're flying over here to get the speed choose and gonna collect the rest of the, no the notes, get this honeycomb, and pretty much finish up the level. Hag is just walking over to Gobi. <laughs> Interesting that he didn't jump at all. Yeah, Steve has plenty of HP for this. Dick has to finish his last ring though. Dick losing a little bit more time over Hag for that. Oh, oh no, I no, I think Steve did that on purpose. Question mark. It worked out. Question mark. <laughs> Cause I I didn't know if he like. Cause he like jumped and fell back into the sand, but then he lost HP because like he had to. I was like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he did that. Yeah. Oh, Dick did the same thing where he just walked over to Trunker. Maybe that's faster. I don't know. I've never noticed that. It might be. Oh, oh, uh -oh. Dick fell back into the water. That's something that happens from time to time, my boys. I don't know if it's like common, it's like just it's like a little uncommon kind of. You see it a little bit. Ooh, Dick canceled the speed shoes. Yeah, I messed so up. He's that gonna time. miss that the final jiggy skip. Oh no, he can oh, just no, skip. He, no, he's gonna get this jiggy skip. Right. I forgot Even the flight can. pad is right there. <laughs> Was that really faster though? I guess so. Yeah, I'm sure that would be faster. Hag looks like he's fine, about Maybe to do the- by just a couple seconds. The jump of death for Hag, he's fine. <laughs> it wasn't even that long ago. It was like a few seconds ago that Dick was over here getting the Trunker Jiggy too, and now Thunderful's just right here. Yeah, it seems like Thunder's caught up a little bit. Wonderful, clawing his way back up to catch up to second and third. Okay, so like... Is heading to RBD. Deadly level. I feel like as long as everyone gets past engine room, the rest is pretty smooth sailing. If you're Steven, playing safe. 20 seconds behind his PB. Interesting. Oh, wonderful. Got pulled down a lot. He's fine though. Wait, I was gonna say, I think that Thunderful has probably made the most mistakes so far. Given, well, he's making one right now Ooh. a little bit. Well, no <clears throat> Having a little trouble. Guys, yeah, he had to cancel the speech juice and re recollect yeah. them. Oh, well, I was gonna say, fun yeah. Thunderful's made the most mistakes, but I think most of them have been tiny for the most part. But I think Dick and Hag have made <laughs> the biggest mistakes. Maybe even Stiv with that Mad Monster Mansion falling off the roof. Mm -hmm. That's very uncommon. So Thunderful approaching the jump of death. Looks like he should be fine though. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Now we got Stiv approaching engine room. It's it's the rare rare marathon is the 301, the Mario marathon's the 602, and I think the Sprash is the 642. The Sprash. <laughs> Let's see how Stiv handles this engine room. Looks like pretty. I actually think he would have been a little bit slower. I think he usually already hits that by now.
Alright, get to the first fan. Come on up to the other one. Doing it in talent trial, I don't... Yeah, I, I've heard that that's harder, or like riskier, to do it in talent trial. Oh, stove. Uh, he got it though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. <laughs> having a little trouble with the the window clip but yeah sometimes it takes just a little bit longer all right we got a hag in the engine room now we'll see how he handles this All right, makes it through the first saw blade, or the blade, the vein, the whatever. The thing you got hit to you. Oh, it's Nick the second time, but he does make it through. It's funny, they're like, just ahead of each other so that we get to see the same thing happen three times like in a row. Okay, and Dick makes it through that first one pretty well. Okay, did not get nicked by the second one. So Yay. <laughs> Yay. No one died in the engine room so far. Oh, wonderful. Missing that note. There you go. Like, and once they're done with one thing, somebody's already on another thing that we can talk about. Like, Stiv right now is coming up to Boombox. Yeah. We're gonna see if he gets to do the Boombox skip. I think he, uh, he's doing the dance. Yeah, that's... Ooh. That's a frame-perfect trick, right? I think the Boombox so. skip. <laughs> he's... <laughs> Stiv's doing the ladder climb. The ground pound ladder climb. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful about to go through the second fan clip. Oh, he gets Nick twice. Oh, but he gets through. Good. Oh, oh, Mr. That another. was the first fan clip, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nick twice on the first one and forgot a note, but there you go. Gets the note. Let's see how he takes the second fan. Oh, his camera. Oh, no, he's fine. Oh, good. I will be right back. No worries. Let's see, uh, Hag not able to do, um, boo box either. Got the same, same result as Stiv did. Uh, we have Dickus Khan coming up on Boombox, though. We'll see what happens with him. In the meantime, we got Thunderfall. It's gonna collect the Shinjo down here. We're pretty far down on that die. As Stiv makes his way to try to do Lifeboat Jump coming up right now. Let's see. Oh no, uh, Dick didn't even get hit by Boombox the first time, he just showed up did the dance. But that technically was faster than how Dick and Hag did it. Okay, Stiv nailing lifeboat jump, so he is fine right now. There won't be too much going on right now until... Dick and Hag get to Lifeboat Jump, or if Thunderfall gets to the Boombox. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh, yikes. Okay. What just happened? 
Oh, I was the Chompa room. With the. Oh. Uh, I saw Hag get hit. But you can oh, just yeah, kill them for health. <laughs> yeah, Hag got 2 HP already. Yeah, he had 1 HP for a second there. That's the monk at S moment. The thing about the Chompas is they take 2 damage. Do you wanna. I don't know, pad your health a little in this level. Yeah. Dick not getting hit up by any of them, so he's gonna get some time over Haggit there. Thunderful having to gold feather uh, boombox. So almost everybody did it differently. Oh yeah, so I guess Hag did lifeboat jump. I, I didn't even see when he did that. So Hag is fine. Oh, uh, Hag lost. Oh no, he's supposed to lose damage. He went into the furnace. Hag on a gold feather into this room. Very safe and smart uh, decision. Especially if you're at one health, you kind of... Yeah. Ooh, that, that Gruntly, though. The Sailor Gruntly. I don't... I forget his uh, official name. Yeah, I'm not sure. Gremling, not Gruntling, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was Gruntling. I think Gruntlings are those monkey looking things in the lair, and then Gremling. Oh, uh, okay. Too. Oh, Stiv! Oh. Okay, so what do you do in this situation? I wanna know. Oh, you just jump over here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's not a huge deal, but yeah. Oh, good one, the beat It's definitely a mistake. Flexing on the enemy right there. I love watching this movement out of the, the captain's quarters on top of these little <laughs> platforms. <laughs> Same for the, the acid pool. I think it's really fun to watch. I know, it's really good movement. It looks like all Sid has to do is just pretty much finish up the level. It looks like he's fine right now. No, uh, no danger. Hag might be in some danger with this, the, the room coming up. Not this room, but the inside the boat. The mm -hmm. anchor room. If you get hit by one of those Chompas, it's 2 HP, so. Right, he won't be able to damage boost on top of the box from the Chompa. Yeah, he can't even do that, so let's see what he decides to do. Okay, that's fine. That's what I imagined he would do. Coming up on the last skip of the level, or the last Jiggy skip. So what they do is peck- they peck, um, Snacker to get onto the platform and, and collect the Jinjo, then they immediately run off the platform back into the water, and they jump back on once the, uh, uh not a lifeboat, but whatever that little thing is. The buoy, yeah. The buoy, yeah. Um, gets to its lowest point, so they can... I guess you grab the jiggy before you touch the ground again. Right. Grabbing the jiggy directly out of the water. Yeah. Uh, skips the dance. For whatever reason. Okay, Hag was fine. Got through that part without any damage, it was fine. It also looks like he's doing good right now. Now Stiv's on his way to open Click Clock Wood. Oh, had Peck Snacker very early. Is that fine? I guess that's fine. Yeah. No, he did the dance. Yeah, you don't you don't have to get onto the platform by bouncing off of Snacker. Oh, okay. He just, just up like, and jumped in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't get the dance skip. I was gonna say I had never seen someone peck snapper snacker like immediately, like right there. Mhm. Mm Threw me off a little bit. Oh, 
All right, looks like Sib got first try leaf jump, so that's good. Nice. Dick got the last and skip. Yeah, Dick catching up a little bit more to Hag right now. And then Palk is possible on Xbox. Nice. That makes sense. I wouldn't imagine it wouldn't be possible. Hag is finishing RBB a little over a minute behind Stiv. Yeah, all the racers finishing up RBB, uh, going to open up the Clockwood, and Thunderful still in RBB, though, just about to finish up right now, though. Oh, this is the jump. There you go. Let's see how many tries. Oh, no, it looks like Hag got first try leap jump, too. Good stuff to Hag. Let's see how many tries it will take Dick. Hopefully he'll just get a first try leap jump as well. Alright. Nice. So far everybody getting first try leaf jump. Thunderful got his dance skip as well. Good stuff to Thunderful. It looks like Thunderful is about three minutes behind Stiv. Three minutes. Not the worst that could be in a race, especially when going against Stiv. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, uh, yeah, Stiv's the only one in Click Lockwood actually right now. Click Lockwood being a pretty, it pretty difficult level. It's got some hard tricks. Um, the worst level to die in for sure. So you wanna, if you're ever on yeah. a run, this is, this is the level or in a race. This is the level you would never wanna die in. Hey, Thunderful also got first try leaf jump. Nice. It's good. Everybody's fine. Everybody smile. Everybody's good. Everyone smile. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming up to our first trick right here. Yeah, we're doing our first trick. Um, Stiv is going to do spring clip, so he's going to... Well, first he's gonna do that and get hit by the bees. So just to make his way over here during the little flower blooming, blooming cutscene. Then he's gonna jump on this, uh, this like ledge right here, where the slope meets the ground and clip through it right there. Uh, basically a faster way to exiting the spring area instead of just walking all the way back to the entrance. Hag is about 25 seconds ahead of Dick now. I think mostly just due to the mistakes in Gobies. Yeah, for the most part. Oh, I didn't 
saying that you had a new emote. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that one before. So yeah, here we go. Hag also doing the setup, getting hit by the bees, and doing the spinning clip. I guess, I don't know, I keep feeling like they're gaining time on Stiv, and then I feel like Stiv's getting further. It's weird. I think Hag did that a bit faster than Stiv, so he will get some time over Stiv than that, I believe. See Stiv doing good open fall already. Um, Dick looks like I didn't see Stig. Uh, Dick some spring clip, but hopefully it was good. Yeah, I missed that. Thunderful is in spring still. Yeah, he's kind of just yeah, starting a little right behind everyone else. Hag also finishing the buzzes right here. And you see, uh, they're jumping around these uh, birds. I believe their names are cluckers. Yeah. Um, and if you... If they mess up any of those jumps, they can get hit by one, lose 2 HP, fall out of the tree. It'd be a pretty hurtful time loss if they ever got hit by one of those. Right. Which, that's <clears throat> just something that makes this level even scarier. Mm-hmm. The whole level is a tree, so you're kind of just climbing <laughs> high and higher. So if you fall out of the tree at any point, it's, it's could be very devastating. And speaking of one of those parts, Div doing the hut jump right here, or the treehouse jump, whatever. I don't want to confuse with mm -hmm. the bubble loop hut jumps. Oh, oh so, okay. that's the note a little bit. That part's so scary when he jumps into the, the bear, the snare bear. I know. <laughs> Doesn't take damage. Like, that scares me every time. So scary. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the way he stays that uh, scary. Stays plays this part, yeah. I'm pretty sure every runner uses an N64. Except, I'm not sure about Thunderful. Oh, Thunder uses GameCube. <laughs> oh, for their controller? Yeah. Defeating Irie, five of the caterpillars. This is what you do in summer and fall, you gotta get ten of them. Hag also coming up on hut hut uh the jump. I don't know what to call this tree house thingy. Summer house jump. Summer house jump. I think. There you go. I'm not sure. I like I knew it and then I just forgot. <laughs> that makes more sense, summer house jump. And I don't think uh Dick or Hag or Thunderful jumps into the scenario bear like Stiv does after the after that either. Yeah. I think Stiv is the only one which is, you know, just a little thing Stiv does, like I said at the beginning, riskier things that he would do to save time over these other runners. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Um, oh Dick, yeah, Dick, Dick just did it. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know, Stiv's not the only one who'll do it. Dick jumping around these clockers, not getting hit, so it's fine. So he's gonna feed Ivy. So Stiv being in fall, um, at the beginning of fall, there's nothing too risky you gotta do. You just kind of go around the tree. Um, you collect the notes, like basically, like the base of the tree. 
then you go into Naughty's house, you know, get your uh, other music notes, and depending on who you are, you will also get the jiggy inside Naughty's house right now, but Stiv does not do that. Yeah, he'll get that in winter in flight after he clips into the tree. Yeah, it saves more time to get it in flight just in winter while you're getting the honeycomb. It's a lot riskier though, but... Yeah, fall I is think... pretty straightforward though. You're right. It's... Yeah. Fall, it's... I think, is also one of the safest uh, seasons because, you know, there's water instead of instead of like the whole moat and whatever being empty. Filled with water, there's big piles of leaves everywhere, so like... Probably the safest season out of the four, I would I would think. Better winter. Winter's kind of scary, though, actually. Yeah, I, f I feel like there's a lot that can go wrong in winter. I um, didn't know that Thunderfall does not do the jump. Oh yeah, he got it oh. with the egg. Oh, he won't. He won't. Okay, he won't do the summer house jump, but he'll jump into the snare bear. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the snare bear is so much scarier. I did not know. Okay. Stiv going to the Zabas one last time before their hive gets destroyed in winter. I think fall is the longest season, though. Yeah, there's a lot Speed more. Speed run wise. There's fall, a lot to collect. Like, spring, you also have to go into Mumbles, but that's when you're leaving the level. Right. Fall, you just go into mobile to get like four or five music notes. Um, oh no, Hag's fine, never mind. I thought Hag was swimming from somewhere else. Uh, I, I, like, I didn't catch, that? did Hag get the jiggy or did he leave it? Oh, I did not see. He, um, oh, he got clipped like by that Dick is getting it. I thought, yeah, I think Dick started to, like, in runs, not get the jiggy there and try to get it in flight in winter, but I guess, you know, safe, mm -hmm. safe first. Yeah, it's definitely a safe strat. <clears throat> Instead of being on nab nut right now, getting all the nuts together right now before I can give him some nab nut. Oh, he missed the acorn. Oh, you gotta get that, Stiv. Kinda need that. We have Haganator approaching the Namnat area. Um, Dick is going into Zubba's. And Thunderful is going to... Thunderful is heading toward Naughty, right? Yeah. They're all in the same season, though, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I've been telling Ninpok to... Try to get MMM skip. MMM early. <laughs> like, literally the last thing this game needs. Aside, like, click lock wood skip, I guess, or early. I guess people want that too. I think that's for any percent, though. I think a lot of any percent people want that. I'm not exactly sure what that would do for 100%. <gasps> Hag falling out oh, of the no. tree. Didn't take damage, though. That's, uh,. Yeah. Uh, he's saying something. I can't tell what he's saying though. <laughs> <laughs> Probably put Stick in the lead now. Oh yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, let's see. Stick still has to get these two over here. Can Hag make his way back up there in time? No, I don't think so. I think Hag. Uh, yeah, Dick is definitely gonna be in the lead now. For second at least, as we have right. Stick exiting <laughs> ball. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Got it. Oh, Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> Gremlin hood. Almost catching him. Alright, Hag, nice and easy. There we go. Just like that, Dick takes second place back from Hag. Took a little while, but the lead shift changed again. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Thunderful, just working his way back up there. 
There's a little more hesitation from Thunderful with the cluckers right there yeah. compared to the other runners. It's just like small stuff like that that really is the difference in speed. Exactly. If you're not as fast as the other people with movement, you will just keep losing time over and over. So basically, uh, the rest of these runners will pretty much just be finishing up fall. Thunderful still has to get the acorns, but. Div right here in winter doing the beef bomb into the pack, rat the rat attack into the breaking the door, going in here and getting this JD. That part can be a little scary because that gremlin hood enemy can try to knock you off. I've seen some uh close calls <laughs> with that guy. Um, Hag getting hit by what will so did he fall off again? I did not see. I, I thought that. I thought all he did was had I thought all he had to do was feed Irie. I guess he fell. Oh, hi. If anybody in the chat can tell us where Hag fell. Because he was past this area. He was past Nabnut. Was it right here? It must have. I swear I saw him get past this part. Fine, though. Oh, he fell off the nest. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's not a part. <clears throat> That's like. Yeah, he's got some of the nodes I see. Taking the long way around the Worm nest. Worm dodge. Worm dodge. <laughs> Oh yeah, so Dick's got a big time lead now over Hag. Actually, yeah. Thunderful is also... Oh, is Thunderful catching up a little? Oh yeah, he's feeding Nabna right now. He's gonna go feed Irie. Stiv not doing the dick dive. Oh, Stiv fell. Uh-oh. Missing getting into the window. That's okay, that's not too bad. The main yeah, part is that he's just gonna effort. fly in. <clears throat> A nice safe strat. Get the honeycomb, talent shots back out there. Alright, the gremlin hunt is dead, so Stiv doesn't have to worry about hanging there for this next flight section. Alright, so this is like the scariest part of winter right here. First clip is pretty free, so Stiv should be able to clip in here right here, not mm -hmm. land. So just now has to grab the jiggy, then the honeycomb. Yeah. Ooh, and, oh, misses the honeycomb. That's okay, he usually can get the backup pretty quick. Then he's gonna void out here with a beak bomb. Alright, yeah, he gets that pretty good. Didn't mess up since second winter clip, so that's good. That costs a lot of time. Yeah. If he hadn't gotten that, he'd have to have swum out, flipped through the ice, and then exited the level normally. It's like a 30 or 40 second time loss, I would, ass I would assume. Something, it, it hurts. I know it hurts. <laughs> Ooh, wonderful. Did he fall? Oh no, he's yeah. in the bramble. Oh, what are you doing down there? You don't want to be down, down there. He, I think his jump was a little short on the way to the last snare bear. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's not too bad, I guess, because, like, that's definitely not as bad as Hag's fall. Yeah. He's it's not just as bad as right falling here. from the top, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, he doesn't have to go back to the top. He has to just go right here and get these notes and leave. That's all he has to do. Yeah. Oh! Okay, he's fine. Okay. Scary a little bit. Oh! Oh, he still took fall damage. Stiv is doing... Soft lock. Yeah, the spring soft lock. So the way soft lock works to anybody in the chat who doesn't know is they basically you're not supposed to make the flower bloom all the way in spring. It's supposed to be in fall. So there's no, I guess there's no like cutscene for it in spring because you know they're not you're not supposed to be able to do that. So the camera just freezes up. And what they do to get out of this is they do they have to oh. listen very carefully for audio cues, jump all the way, find their way to Mumbo's hut, and enter Mumbo's hut. Did something happen while I was explaining that? Oh, Hag missed a note and fell down. Oh no. <clears throat> it gets the first winner clip. Yeah. And he doesn't have to worry about the Jiggy because he got it in fall. Yeah. So let's see, Dick also can get it. Dick, oh yeah, Dick takes all his damage right there. Um, no yeah, Hag's fine. Hag looking... It looks like his feather count is a lot lower than some other people, so... Oh, 
hag messing up egg shots in Ooh. the window. Nice, Thunderful also got the beak mm. bomb into the door. Now Stiv is going to do lair jiggies with the bee. Yeah, so if you look at Stiv's screen right now, he is the bee. He's not going to open this door, instead he's going to clip through it. And turn around right quick, and then exit this way. And he stays as the bee because the bee's not supposed to be able to go here, so it doesn't check to make sure you're Banjo and Kazooie. And, oh, he misses that jiggy. And now he's gonna stay as the bee the whole time until he gets the bubble gloop swap, because there's not really a check anywhere in the game, I, I think, to make sure you're, like, not transformed. There is? It's funny, there is at the end of bubble gloop, when you're trying to leave bubble gloop. Oh, but, yeah. But, like, it doesn't activate for the bee so it's kind of weird i don't i think it checks for a certain animal maybe i'm not sure dick got into mumbo's okay div is uh doing some laps around the uh layer right now oh yeah what what is going he's on a, a victory lap i guess <laughs> he took two victory laps now he's gonna go to this entrance over here there we go oh hag died oh Hag just died in spring. I oh, I didn't see that. Oh, oh, he, he oh that just out. happened. Hag is uh -huh. Hag is out. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. No, he he died on the snare bear. Yeah, that's not good. And so unfortunately, that's gonna do it for Hag. Yeah, he tried to. Oh, I see. It's he was eating the mumbo token from the snare bear and just died from it. Yeah. Really, I didn't think that he was unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate for Haganator. That's gonna put him in an automatic fourth place. Oh, Stiv missing the entrance to that, uh... Entrance to the bubble gloop area. There you go, he makes it now. hate to see it happen, but it can happen. Mm -hmm. I guess he didn't have all the notes. He must not have had all the notes. Wait. I don't know. Did he or did he not? I don't know. Because if he only had mm -hmm. to get the Jinjos, I, I'm sure he could have been fine. Maybe. He probably just doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, he didn't have one note by the flower. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, because he wasn't... Yeah, that's right. He wasn't leaving. Duh, if you're not leaving as Banjo Kazooie, you get the mumble token in that snare bear as on your way to the flower. Oh, he had 92 notes. Yeah, he started to get a 92. Oh, yeah, he did get those other ones. That's right. Oh, and uh, oh no, never mind. I I thought Ziv got bad transformation for a second, but I forgot he was just untransforming. Let's see, Thunderful going into Mumbo's. Yeah, Thunderful doing soft lock skip or soft lock right now, so we're gonna see how this goes for him. And Stiv clipped into Bubble Gloop Swamp as the bee, flew to Mumbo's, transformed back into Banjo, and then um, death warped back to the beginning of the level. Okay, that's good. Um, Thunderful. We'll oh, you got in. And Dick Hag just now entering BGS as well. Yeah. Hagnator um, was getting a Momo token on top of a snare bear, and if you do get hit by the snare bear, it can do 2 damage, so he must have had 2 HP or 1 HP and he ended up dying. Usually he would have 2 HP when setting up for softball. Yeah, he had 3 HP. I think he got, hit. he got hit once before getting the token, and then he tried to get it and got hit again. Oh my goodness. I think Hag's just gonna... I think Hag's just setting up for another run now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. Deaths are very... Devastating. Yeah. Aside when you're in the middle, you're death warping. It's just a run killer, because your notes don't save if you die. Thunderful is also doing um, RBA. Looks like he gets it pretty down. Not too shabby.
Mm. So luckily for everybody, Bubble Gloop being the last level of this run, um, it's definitely not as scary as Click Clock Wood. So this is pretty much where once you finish Click Clock Wood and you're finishing up this level, you get you kind of just get to relax a little bit. Yeah. Um. There's not too much to this level, honestly. I mean, these hut jumps are... That's a trick, for sure. Yeah. Jumping off of the huts without breaking them, that saves a little bit of time. Um. You can do that. You can do the hut jump with every single hut, but the second to last one is, like, so hard to do. People don't just don't even go for it. Yeah, this level is mostly about tight movement. Honestly, yeah. Tight movement, getting the egg shots into the croc's mouth. Yeah, and the croctuses are huge. That's about it. Then you just gotta do vial and tip top. Those are just kind of time based mini games, somewhat. Not really so much tip top, but. Yeah, there's a little bit of RNG in um, tip top. Yeah, but depending on what the patterns you get for his turtles, they're closer together and you, you know, you can ground pound them a lot more quicker. Well, like a little bit more quicker, not like a lot more. Yeah, we got Thunderful finally starting his uh bubble gloop journey. So we got Stiv here, about to enter tip top. Um just kind of, you know, gonna play his game. Let's see how the RNG is. Again, nothing really too scary going on. He does do this neat little thing where he jumps into Tip Top after he cancels the tech so he can move around freely while this is going on. Yeah, and that saves a bit of time. Yeah, he got good turtle pattern, kind of. The purple one being the start one. Mm -hmm. like yeah, there. that wasn't bad. But they were all, yeah, they, all three of them were close to each other. It's a pretty good pattern too. Could definitely be worse. <laughs> yeah, that yellow one, everything's pretty good for Stiv aside that yellow one just being a little bit further away. But now he's in the middle and that's pretty good. Those three next to each other. Oh, then you get the pink one way over there though. Oh, and you go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> pink, yellow, pink. Like, not that one's not the best pattern. Didn't Stiv, did Stiv die? No, Stiv did not die. Aside from death warping, no, Stiv has been dying. Hagged. Hagged died. Hag, Hag forfeited. Is... Yeah, and dying in cook clock mode without all the notes, that's a lot of time loss. Probably five minutes, maybe more? I don't even know, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it can be hard to continue a run after a death like that. Oh yeah. In a run, you probably want to continue it unless your time's really low. In a race, in a race, you could, but it depends. Like, you don't want to finish like 20 minutes after somebody, like in last place. Yeah. And pretty much, Hag was headed in that direction. If he, like, with that death, like, it hurts. It's like, I don't think it loses that much time, but it hurts so much. Mm hmm. Yeah, Thunderful actually is pretty far behind it, just, you can't really tell. This level is pretty long. I think he's like five minutes, right? Like five minutes or so behind now? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm gonna time when Dick leaves Tip Top. It seems like he's not that far behind, because they don't have, he's like, he's like, he's going into Tip Top right now. 
but TikTok does take a little bit to do. Yeah. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's not even going to TikTok. He's getting the croc over here. I forgot about that. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely further behind than I thought. Dick had a bad MMM. Yeah, Dick messed up some stuff for sure. Mastiff just needs to turn into the croc and do vile. He's yeah. pretty much done with the level. Dick's heading towards the maze. Not too far behind Stiv. But probably at least a minute, I'd say. Yeah, we're coming to the end also of the mumbo transformations and so far. Maybe we've two seen, minutes. We've seen zero zero mess ups on Mumbo, so. Yeah, no washing machines. <laughs> there are two chances left, so I guess we'll see. Okay, Stiv starting Vile. Vile being just, you know, a, a mini game where you have to eat more whatever they are. Than Yumblies and grumblies. <laughs> I like knew the name, but I didn't know like what they actually were, like onions or something. I don't know. I don't really yeah, know. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but <laughs> they do kind of look like they could be onions. Which what? Which one is the grumbling? The yellow one? Yeah. That kind of could be like considered pasta, maybe. I don't know. That like reminds me of pasta because of its color. It's like long and stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> onions. The the other one reminds me of like a red onion. Don't they look like onions? <laughs> the red one for sure. Cause the other one looks like a snake. Which one you would you eat, Nylon, if you had to eat one of these? Definitely the red one. <sighs> really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the grumblies are gross. Why are they gross? You don't want to eat those. <laughs> they're the they're the poisonous ones. <laughs> Not on game three. That's true. <laughs> I mean, they do look more evil though in the. Red yeah, they computer. look like they'd like bite you back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'd attack you. Apples and worms. Oh yeah, it does look like a worm. The crumbly. It could be a worm, a yellow spotted worm. Okay, I, that definitely makes me want to eat the red one more. <laughs> That does make sense. Worms, worms and apples. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dick also on Vile right now. I did not time, by the way, when Dick left Tip Top. Yeah, let's... Compared to Thunderful, I just didn't do it. <laughs> time, time them exiting the... The level? Loading zone, yeah. Or er, Vile's loading uh, zone. Yeah. I guess I'll do it from Stiv. Stiv leaving and Thunderful leaving. Just to see how far behind he is of first place. Oh, Thunderful left tip tip almost three minutes after Dick. Oh, somebody timed it? Oh, thank you guys. Alright, so yeah, Thunderful definitely not as far behind as I thought. I thought like five minutes or so, though. That's definitely not that bad. Dick is on his second vile game, instead of yeah. just finishing up the last one. And let's see, Stiv is leaving at 153.49. Alright, so basically... 
the only thing you do after this is pretty much you go straight to the final battle. There is... Oh, and Thunderful did not get any Wushi, or did, did not get washing machines. So no washing machines and no T-Rexes in this run. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to see Nenpalk skip in a few okay. minutes here. You guys get to see how it's executed. Basically, a brief explanation of Nenpalk skip before we get into it is... They're gonna go into the death square immediately on the left, so they're gonna have to answer just a few questions. And what they do is between the Joker question and the death square is they hold Z to, to crouch and slide into the death square. And as they're sliding into the death square, they mash C... I see left or right, I literally can't think of this right now. Left. left. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird when you're not playing, but they mash C left to get into Talon Trot, so... And apparently yeah, there's like there's a few... like... There's Frank. one pixel. Oh, I think wow. it's one pixel where you can get into Talon Trot. And then in Talon Trot, if you get a question on the death score wrong, um, it will keep you on the board and you'll be able to move freely. But the catch is if you get a picture question on the death square, um, the trick won't work. So, yeah. what you can do is if you got the Joker question right, you can go to the next death square pretty fast and try it again. Yeah, the Joker cards allowing you to skip two questions. One of them, I think, being the timer and one of them being Grand Soda is what you would do. I don't remember if there's a Grunty question before the next death square. Um, I don't believe I kind of there. I forget, yeah. But yeah <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, that's the reason, because like, if you do get a picture question on the death square, it loads the picture, then loads back death, or it, lo it loads back Furnace Fun. And when it loads back, it, it puts you back into Banjo, not Talon Trot. So then, right. you know, if you get it wrong, you know, you're gonna get knocked off. Right, because being in Talon Trot is what is letting you... Yeah, um, not, not... I guess they had no... They didn't put, like, some kind of animation for getting knocked off in Talon Trot or something. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, why it works, but... I guess they just, you know... Creators were like, oh, you're not allowed to turn to Talon Tron in any of these squares, so there's no reason for us to put this here. Mm hmm. Alright, let's what see. They thought. <laughs> Stiv didn't get a Grunty question on the Joker square, so that's good. He definitely has a backup now if he gets a picture Ooh. question oh, here. He got into Talon Trot, but he didn't make it on the Death Square. That was interesting. Yeah, I, th I think he must not have pressed A fast enough. He was there like, he, w he went into Talon Trot, but he the Death Square didn't light up. Oh, okay. So I guess he didn't think it was gonna work. Yay, so. Stiv got the skip. Yeah, no bad art. No picture question for Stiv, so he's gonna just skip the whole board now, as you see, and just go straight up to Grunty. Now we get to see Dick try the skip. Hopefully he doesn't get a picture question either. Oh, that means he was on the one pixel line. Uh -oh. Stiv not going for dog skip. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog skip being the door of Grunty, which is the door he just opened. You can't actually just maneuver yourself around it, flip out of bounds, and jump at the same time and like move around and get to the other side of the door. I don't even know how much time it saves. I think it saves a little over 10 seconds, I'm not sure. I assume if you did it like perfectly first try, it would yeah. save 10-ish or so. Maybe like 20. <clears throat> Hag died in Click Clockwood with like 92 notes, so he forfeit. Oh, Stiv oh. Uh, Dick got it right too. Dick got the skip as well. Yeah, good job, Dick. Alright, so Stiv on the final battle right here, basically shooting eggs really fast at Grunt here in the beginning, shooting eggs right here. Uh, this, the fight, honestly, is kind of straightforward. You, oh, I'm missing that jump on the platform. Might get hit by this fireball, now he's fine. The first section of the fight, this, the egg section, is pretty straightforward. The flying section is where you can lose a lot of time. Um... I'd say the flying section is the hardest. And then there's like one major trick is the Ooh. Oh, Mr. Beat Bomb. Is the cutscene skip. 
when the ginger statues rise. That saves quite a bit of time. Not often you see Stiv miss oh, two beat bomb. Miss two in a row. Oh no. Um, he actually has to hit Grunty right now. Yeah. Yeah. He has to hit all these beat bombs, or he has to get more feathers. Dick entering his Grunty fight, not too far behind. Yeah, Stiv. Uh. Okay, Stiv's fine. I was gonna say if he missed one more beat bomb, Dick was gonna get pretty good time gain on him. Dick has caught up, it looks like, a good amount to, to Stiv. Oh, yeah. uh, I didn't notice this until now, but Dick, it looks like Dick golded Bubble Gloop. Oh, did he? Wow. Yeah, so good stuff to Dick. Nice. Is that another gold too? Yeah, Thunderful. Thunderful also golded Bubble Gloop. Oh, wow. Good stuff to these guys. So, yeah, and what Stiv did there was skip the Jinjo cutscene. Skip skipped it loading the Jinjo and activating the Jinjo, so like they overlapped each other the cutscene, so you get to skip one basically. Now the rest of the battle for Stiv is pretty much just shooting these eggs into the Jinjos and activating them and they'll just hit Grunty and that's it. Yep, Stiv is pretty much done. Um... Dick going into flight with four feathers. Oh, he needs to get a feather. Oh, yikes. Yeah, he only hit his first beak bomb. Yeah, he didn't understand the fact. I didn't think he needed to beak bomb into the ground, but... Oh no, that was his <laughs> last beak bomb, what? Oh, okay. Oh, he must have missed a beak bomb, went down to the platform, and jumped back on the flight pad. That's what I saw. I saw Dick get on the flight pad, and then do a beak bomb. That's why I thought he was just starting. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so, um... So Stiv just shooting the eggs into the Shinjinator, and he'll be done in just a few seconds. And that's gonna be time on Stib's part. GG. 20114. Two, oh, also, um, Thunderful getting Ning Talk skip right there. Thanks. No picture questions. Wow. Well, maybe it's not so bad after all. <laughs> I'm surprised though. I thought one of them were actually gonna get a picture question. Mm hmm. If ha you know what? If Hag made it that far, it probably would have been him. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so Dick is on Ginginator right now, too. Well, he will be as soon as it spawns. Oh, ground pounding a little early. Getting hit by the, um, that homing attack by Grand Tilda. Wonderful is about to enter his grunty fight. Yeah, he's not too far behind. Yeah. Oh, Dick messed up a little bit, I think, right here. Oh, well, he's so on like, this side. Grunty works. Wonderful will probably finish with a 205 or 206. <clears throat> oh, he did Jijinator backwards. That's gonna be time on Dick's part, though. That was weird. Yeah, I was like, what's Dick doing? He, like, went around the other side of Jijinator. Oh. I didn't. I thought he was messing up or something. So all we gotta do now is wait for Thunderful to finish up his run fight. He's doing pretty good so far. He's doing pretty Dick well. Dick finished with a 2.02.26, yeah. Yep, just, Sorry. Oh, just a little <laughs> bit over a minute behind Steve. Thunderful starting his flight section. Gonna start these big bombs. Looks like he's gonna handle this pretty well. It's a good start. Second one, I yeah. think it should be fine. Solid beak bombs. Very nice by Thunderful. Yeah. He was the only one who didn't oh, miss one. Oh, he's flapping. Oh, he likes to flap, apparently. Oh, he's hot. Yeah, <laughs> he's just... He's just feeling around now. <laughs> See Banjo fall in front of Grunty during that cutscene? <laughs> I didn't know he did that. Did he do that only for the race, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't know. He's just styling. Just styling, showing yeah. off the <laughs> Probably expected to get fourth, but you know, getting third now. Mm 
can get this mm -hmm. on Joe Cutscene Skip 2. Did those go in? I think they did. Yeah, no, he did that pretty dang well. And now he's just gonna do Gingerinator. And I think, um... I don't know, he had a really good Grunty fight over our overall. Yeah. I don't know if he would be able to gold this one at all, but... I haven't seen, like, any mistakes from uh, Thunderfall at all. He does that every time? Oh, I didn't know that. One, two, three, the one, two, the one, two, back over here, switch back over here, the one, two, three, come back, and just spam me now. Ooh. Yeah, that is a goal. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, good stuff to find. Yeah, that goal. was a solid, like, two and a half second gold. 205.11. GG. four minutes behind Civ. That's pretty dang good for a race. Yeah. Good job, racers. Congrats to Stiv on the first place, and congrats to everybody else for doing their best. <laughs> Yeah, that was a solid race. Very good um, mm. race times, for sure. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull both of you guys in for post-game interviews and stuff. Sure. Alright. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Hello, racers. Hey. Hello. Well, hi -o. <laughs> Oh, we're interviewing people? Yeah, I mean, you can just talk about the runs. So, um, the one thing I want to point out of the run was, Dick, you and Hag were... Oh, that was kind of like the theme of the run. You and Hag were pretty synced up for a good while throughout the run. Yeah, and then I fucked up in Mansion and Gobi's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, Gobi's is where Hag pulled the lead, but then after he fell twice into Click Lock Wood, you got the lead back on him. Yeah, my gobies was, uh, I'm, most of the mistakes I made were because I was frustrated by the first mistake that happened, which was the when ring? I came out of Jinxie, the, I fell off of the ring as it was going up, and then I couldn't get the oh, backup yeah. for a while because I just refused to do, like, to set it up. I was just <laughs> trying to YOLO it, and I got really mad, so I made a bunch more mistakes after that in <laughs> gobies, but I got the important stuff. I got first try goby clip, and I got water pyramid clip, so I knew I wasn't, like, I knew I hadn't lost to Hag yet. Because my late game is really strong in races. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Stiv and, Stiv and Hag got Gobi Clip third try. Or, you know, not the first try, second try. Second, try. yeah. So, you got some time over them. Uh, Stiv was doing pretty well. You did pretty well in your run. Uh, you made some mistakes I'd never really seen you do in a while. Like, you fell off of Mad Monster Mansion's roof. Yeah, that, that level just was not nice to me at all, honestly. Like, <laughs> throughout the whole thing, I was just getting trolled. And then by that time, I was tilted, so... You were yeah. actually on PB pace for like a good chunk of it too, like all the way f until you got into Gobies. Yeah, it was it was only mm -hmm. like plus four out of Clankers. It was pretty good. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I kind of tapered off in the mid and late game. I was um, I was ahead of PB until Mansion, and then lost like oh. thirty seconds there. So. Oh dang! Yeah, I remember the first pot kind of messed you up there. Yeah, that wasn't such a big deal. I I missed the Jinjo Jiggy Jig skip. Yeah, and you like and both fucked up in a tumble really bad and the church was really bad the ghost yeah. got in my way yeah oh yeah the church you and hag also had some slip ups there yeah. too Doctor, yeah like, the, 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 ghost, the ghost really trolled hag on the back of the pew yeah mm -hmm. i had the the skeleton troll that was the worst yeah yeah, yeah for me. Off the organ. <laughs> um thunderful you pretty much had a good run overall the most i think you made like all the tiny mistakes in the yeah. for the most part. You were doing you weren't doing that bad. We just kept seeing you make very tiny mistakes. I actually tied my two oh five PV again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's oh. pretty cool. That end game, like I had a minute to save and I'm pretty sure I saved that minute almost. Like that was one of my best end games I've ever had. That was so yeah, insane for me. You golded Grunty fight. So. Yeah. That was oh, nuts. Nice.
Like, what yeah. was the gold, you know? Uh, 338. Oh, it's getting low, not bad. That is good. <laughs> it is dumb, though, because on the last Jinjo statue, I shot my three eggs, and one of them just didn't work. Shoot. So yeah. The shoot. lag thing, yeah. The lag thing is so annoying. That's, that's like, literally the difference between a 338 and a 335. Like, that one yeah. egg shot, probably. <laughs> Right. I was yeah. gonna ask uh, Hag what happened with him, and like Click Clock would have kind of messed him up, but I think he's not—he's <laughs> deaf and unmuted, so I don't think he wants to do an interview. Mm. But um, I don't think both I think Dick and Thunderful golded BGS. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Both? Yeah, my bubble—that bubble gloop bubble was fucking awesome. Felt really good to gold that. It was super good. Half Been waiting head. for that gold. Um, your clanker is Dick. I think you did. You miss the jump in the beginning. Is that what happened? Yeah, I missed the jump at the beginning of Clankers, but the rest of the level was pretty much perfect, so yeah. I didn't care too much about that. I got the bolt jump, I got the snippets and everything. Twenty two rings it was good. Yeah, so yeah, that's the only mis that's the only thing that happened in the Clankers for you. That's when we noticed how I got like the lead over you for a second, or like you were you were technically synced up, but your cycle was worse than Hag, so you know you missed the jump. So that's when mm -hmm. Hag pulled like probably a two seconds over you. That's about it. Not too bad. Yeah. From what I heard, like me and Hag were pretty much synced from like the oh beginning of Freezy Z Peak to the end of Mad Monster. <laughs> it was actually like really eerie. Like you guys were honestly yeah. like neck and neck at like probably fifteen different points during the run. <laughs> I thought yeah, I, was I hope it happens like that at SGDQ, but I also <laughs> hope it doesn't end the way it ended at SGDQ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, no, let's not have that happen. Yeah. Be careful. We can't. We literally can't have that at SGDQ. <laughs> yeah. Well, um. Fun. Trying to think of any other points during the run. I can only think of one th small thing that Stiv didn't do is in TTC when you jumped off the uh, tower, you didn't do, you didn't take fall damage in flutter. You just kind of fluttered. In. Yeah, that's because I don't like to risk going into Nipper with two HP in races. Oh yeah, I did the same yeah. thing. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I was gonna ask Dick what happened at the beginning of Clankers. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I thought it looked fine. I just didn't jump and slid off and took damage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because like, yeah, I, I, I was just... like a little like, oh man, I didn't get the jump. It, it just kind of happens, I guess. I I probably just pushed a a little too early or a little too late or something. The thing that was mm -hmm. funny for me is that both you and uh, even though Hag made the jump, both you and him got invisible bubble, and so you guys both had just like these weird gloop cycles. <laughs> yeah, the old one. I just did the normal like beginner one. After yeah. I failed the jump. I don't know how you guys make those cycles. That's nuts. <laughs> like fun to that, was one of, that was like, the hardest thing I ever learned in speedrunning this game was making the advanced two cycle and clankers. I think yeah. I spent like eight hours on that before I could get it. Bam. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like other than that, you guys all got the hardest stuff. Like you guys got FP early, uh, 450 skip. You all got the second winter clip. You all got uh, the, the pyramid clip. You all got Gobi clip. Stiv was doing some laps out of bounds with the B. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> he was telling me about that. I was like, I'm not that far behind. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. I just oh, thought I could go around and find it, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was good. That was good. Well, we want to thank all of you guys for racing and joining us today. Thank you, commentators. Thank you, runners. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I hope you guys thank had you. fun. We really appreciate you guys uh, showcasing the run on the channel. So. Hope you had a good time. Absolutely. Yeah, it was awesome. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks. It was a fun race. Good race overall. Absolutely. GG's. Fun race. GG's, everybody. Good luck at SGDQ. GG's, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Good luck at SGDQ. Yeah. Thank again for joining all of us uh, within the... Uh, the race. Hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed it. Uh, we want to thank you guys for coming out and watching it. Uh, we do have another event happening tomorrow. So if you are interested in coming and seeing Super Mario Galaxy 120 star, we've got a ton of runners uh, coming out tomorrow for that uh, run. It'll be a lot of fun. We are starting at 2 o'clock Eastern. So just one hour uh, later than we started today for Kazooie. So if you're interested in that, please uh, come out there, come support us, uh, and come support the Galaxy community because they'll be uh, obviously showcasing off another uh, really fun run. So um, we hope to see you there. Thank you for joining us. And um, that is going to be us signing off for the uh, 1545 Invitational Series for today. But again, we hope to see you tomorrow, and we hope you have a great rest of your Saturday afternoon and evening and night. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.